pumpkin type slightly disturbing but yet a great read if you like a little bit of the thrill but not getting too much on it hi guys it's Isa and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna see some spooky Halloweeny recommendations for this month which I believe are fantastical reads if you want to get in the mood of Halloween. For those unaware of my channel, I publish bookish content every Thursday and Sunday and we mainly talk about fantasy, both young adult and adult. So I really hope you like it and click the subscribe button to stay tuned to new videos. In this video I'm going to show you six book recommendations starting to what reads a little bit more middle grade and then towards just adult fantasy. Let's get started! And so we start with The Small Spaces by Catherine Arden, the same writer of The Bear and the Nightingale. And this story follows Ollie, who has just lost her mum and she finds herself in this lake with a weird woman that is continuously crying and holding kind of a weird book. She gets a little bit scared and without thinking she just steals her book and goes away. And when she starts reading the volume, she starts to understand that something is quite amiss. It seems that tells the story of a girl with two brothers that make a deal with a phantom figure that doesn't really have a face but has just a smile and that grant you a wish but for a very great price. And so Oli is captivated by the story and there's kind of a lot within it when in the trip the bus is stops, it kind of breaks, and the teacher goes to seek help into a farm. And then all the students are in this bus and the driver just says to them, you need to get away fast because at night everyone is going to come for you. And so Ollie, who has been reading this book, is a little bit like creeped out. And so she and her friends start to go away from the bus as it seems something very weird is getting into there and it finds them rambling in the woods and getting chased by scarecrows and all of that and so this is supposed to be really 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 like middle grade like four schoolers but all the scarecrow vibe it was super creepy and also the smiling figure it just remind me so much to the slender man and that's what I was picturing all the time. It was a great read. It wasn't really a horror book. So if you don't like that, you're safe reading it. It just gives you a little bit of the chills, but it's it's great. You'll love Ollie and you love her friends and see how they manage. And so I really recommend it. The next book isn't really scary at all. It's really a little bit on the romance side. So I'm just adding this in because it has all of these themes like witches, wyverns, dark academia, which screams October. So it's called The Black Witch by Laurie Forrest. It tells the story of Ellerin, who is the vivid image of her grandmother, who was the greatest witch of all time and the one responsible for driving the Gardenian enemies away. And so in this new society, she is powerless and it's a very racist society. And so at some point, Ellerin finds the opportunity to go into this college and start learning a little bit of magic. She starts to live with some wyverns and you see how they're dragons, different magical creatures, elves, all of that. And this book, it's quite on the romance side. Just as a warning, this book, it seems that actually didn't receive as much praise because it was pitched as, you know, like something that goes on board with racism, which is actually the other way around. We see how Ellerin has massive prejudices against other races, and when she's faced to live with them, she needs to get over those to move on and how she changes her mindset. The themes aren't spooky at all, and it's just the characters and the thematics that you see that are related, but you are not get scared at all. If anything, you'll see some love triangles. Then we move to The Wicked Deep by Shay Erinshaw. And this book, it is creepy. It tells the story of a village where two centuries ago, three sisters are sentenced to death for witchery and they were drowned in the lake of the village. 
And so it seems that from that point onwards, every season at the same time that they were drowned, these three sisters come back and they lure young boys into the lake to drown. And only after the boys are dead, the season stops. It turns into a point in which this season is actually somehow of a tourist attraction, which is really messed up. And the story follows Penny, who has been living in his village all her life and she knows how to stay awake for people and stay awake from the lake when suddenly she meets a new boy that comes into town called Bo and Bo is mysteriously getting into great danger and so she takes to herself to save Bo and so the story really goes from there. It has this rainy town with this mysterious lake, this ghost and all the vibe is just very 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 rainy octobery and you know like pumpkin time and i really liked it it has some twists and turns that i wasn't really expecting and i was pleasantly surprised by that and i really think you'd like it if you want something that is messed up a little bit but isn't gruesome at all following with another book for the same author we have winterwood which tells the story of a dark forest that seems to be only available for some witches to enter. Anyone else that get into this forest will get lost and will die. And so the story follows Nora, a young witch that gets into the forest and within the deeper side of it she finds Oliver, a young man that was reportedly lost from a camp weeks ago. She retrieves him, takes care of him, and it seems that he's alive, but without memories of what has happened. But what Nora doesn't know is that Oliver has his own secrets that doesn't really want to uncover, and it seems that he isn't the only one from the camp that has gone missing. This book, I think I enjoyed a little bit more The Wicked Deep, because of the ambience, but this is snowy, it is creepy, and it gets, it escalates quickly. You get into a point in which you are like, what is happening here? But if you could only take one book from these recommendations, I urge you to read Vicious from B.E. Schwab. It tells the story of Victor and Eli, two roommates that have been best friends in college and that they cannot be more different. Victor is this guy who is very timid, he's drawn to himself. Meanwhile, Eli has been this very popular guy throughout college and he is just so charismatic. And so things seem to be very well between the two when they start to research how near-death experiences seems to be the origin of some extraordinary abilities. And so when things go from theory to practice, something goes horribly wrong. And then the story changes and we see how time has passed and how Victor is going out of jail with this revenge motivation against Eli. In the other hand, Eli is on a mission of taking away every person that has these extraordinary abilities. And so in this book we have these two very different points of view who hate each other, who are destined to meet again, and how their motivations are different and how they are drawn to their fate. And so this book was really amazing. It is dark, both characters are very grey, neither of them are good and you'll have a very tough time deciding who wants to win because you see how both of them do horrible actions. It feels more adult in the reading. The horrors that they commit are so natural for them that it's scary and I really think you'd like it. Please pick it. It's so fascinating. Give it a try. And last but not least we have the Southerns Book Club Guide to Slaying Vampires. This is an adult fantasy book and the story follows Patricia who has gave up her professional life to just marry with this doctor and be the perfect mother for her children. But she has never felt so small as she feels drowned by the children, not really loved by her husband and the main highlight of her life is actually this book club that she has with other mothers of the neighborhood. And so they have started to read some crime and suspenseful books when suddenly a newcomer moves into the neighbor and we see how little children are missing. And so 
this club starts to wonder who is the newcomer and how they can fight him. And I must confess, I read this in one sitting. I was just so consumed by the story. It has this thriller, paranormal, and very engaging vibes that will get you hung into the book. It has some very, very creepy scenes that I just have in my mind from the moment I read it. This book is fun, but it's also very dark, so it might get to a point when you need to skip some pages. So I really recommend it to you if you think you'll enjoy any of that. And you know, it's very a perfect read just before Halloween when all the vampires and all of that. And so that was it for today. I hope you liked the books. Shoot it. Did you? And I hope to see you all very soon with more videos. Bye!